Okay, hey, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today I have a really cool update for you from the brand Spring Made. You guys, if you're a longtime follower of the channel, you may remember these guys. Um, and uh, they have pretty much, they've still been around. And I did want to circle back and kind of see what some of their updated models were like. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see how much progress they've made since those first initial runs that I shared with you, uh, you know, a few years back. A little bit about the brand. Spring Made is a USA based company and they're really focused on quality, innovation, and function. In terms of what they're doing different within this kind of NATO style strap space is that they've done it with an adjustable buckle that gives the user the ability to get the exact right fit without having to choose between holes because they don't use any holes. Too often, we kind of find that perfect size is right in between two different holes on a strap. Now you don't have to choose and you can get the right fit every time as well as kind of adjust every time, right? Uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, and it is definitely very different what they're doing. I haven't really seen anybody else doing anything like it. And uh, they've really upped their quality on the finishing other hardware as well as giving uh, a nice range of options in terms of the weave pattern and style on those nylon straps so I even brought back an old favorite uh, you know a cool limited micro brand uh, from the past uh, that I believe I even featured in the original video uh, so why not bring it back here because I think it's just a fun fit with that kind of uh, modern take on a classic aesthetic so with all that said let's go ahead zoom the camera out get this piece in hand and take a closer look okay guys so uh the watch today is going to be uh from manchester watchworks this is actually their beluga line which is kind of their premium uh take so think uh you know grand seiko for seiko beluga was kind of that for manchester watchworks uh, you can see their original logo right there this is a really interesting and fun diver uh, in terms of the fact that it does have a very classic aesthetic, but it is doing something very different. It also has this really cool textured dial, which I feel was a bit ahead of its time. And I think something like this today would probably, let me give it a quick little wipe here, uh, be probably getting a little bit more fanfare, 500 meters of water resistance uh, using a Swiss made uh, movement and also Swiss made, of course, the watch itself uh, being constructed in Switzerland. So uh, I always enjoy this one. I like the aesthetic that it does have that kind of military esque setup with, of course, all of your measuring scales there, all of the increments, and then even having the 24 hour scale uh, there as well. So I do dig that a lot, and this kind of gives me futuristic modern mill sub vibes, and it's one of the reasons why I picked this watch up so many years ago. But back to the strap here, um, check it out, guys. Very beautifully finished. That's going to be the real standout here. Um, you know, you're going to see these types of weaves and patterns from other manufacturers, but in terms of the mechanism, right, in terms of the way that it's going to secure, this is very unique. And as well as the quality of the hardware with those beautiful high polished bevels, nice satin brushed finish there. Everything is just very, very sharp. And uh, by sharp, I mean precise uh, versus sharp uh, in terms of it feeling unfinished. You can see the edges on this buckle are definitely very well finished. Uh, so very beautifully done. Uh, you can see there's uh, this type of pattern, which is the ribbed, uh, which is very popular right now. We also have that in the gray ribbed design here uh, just the gray colorway very very nice and again that hardware just impeccable uh, and then we have the more classic style of nylon here you can see the tubular style nylon very nice classic orange very very bright definitely has a nice functional feel to it uh, and then, uh, you know, we know that this type of nylon is also very, very strong. And then we get into their deluxe pattern, which is, you know, you've seen these tighter kind of uh, seat belt like 
uh, weaves on various high-end NATOs as well. And in terms of high-end, I do think that these do fill within that space, especially with one, the quality of the keeper, two, the quality of the design, and then three, of course, the quality of the nylon choices that are available here. These go for $30 direct, and uh, that is with this particular upgraded hardware style. They do have the more original style still running from those first initial batches uh, that has been improved, of course, but is still kind of the older style. Uh, so definitely check the channel history for that. Um, and I think those go for $25. So for the extra five bucks, you get uh, just the extra level of uh, finishing there on the gorgeous hardware, which I can't, uh, you know, express enough that that's something that I really appreciate because, of course, I appreciate nice finishings and fine, sharp, crisp transitions on watches. So, of course, I'm going to want to really play that up when it comes to the strap choice. And you can see here we have a nice bevel there, very sharp uh, and with nice clean brushing. So uh, it's another case, again, where you really want to uh, just kind of look at it holistically. And, uh, you know, overall as a design, we can start uh, with this and the orange is very bright. So hopefully it'll, it'll give nice contrast for you guys to look at. Um, you can see there's no holes and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to run this through to your heart's desire, right? Um, and then essentially you're going to slide that. We do have a sliding keeper here so that if you do decide to fold back under, you can go ahead and affix that sliding keeper there and everything is nice and tidy. And that was just me kind of estimating or guesstimating uh you know and you can see there's no holes on there uh, i will say on the wrist it's a little bit more complex but i did want to give you guys kind of the main idea you can kind of do it one of two ways of course if you have a larger wrist uh you know maybe you're going to just kind of set this to where there's enough slack to just kind of be held in place right and maybe just have a little overhang there or of course like we first saw but maybe we feed it in even more to really accentuate that for those of you with you know maybe those six and a half inch wrists sizes the smaller sizes nothing wrong with that different sizes for different folks you can see um oh this is probably a little over small this is probably a little bit smaller than six inches what I set up here so maybe I'll go ahead and feed some of that slack back out but the whole thing here is that you can do that in a micro adjustment right uh, it's similar it's funny that they're called spring made because you think of the spring drive right you think about a mechanical movement and how it's all based off of the vibrations and the beats the beat rate right uh, whether it be 2500 or I'm sorry, um, 21,600 for a three hertz beat or 28,800 um, for a four hertz beat. And then you can get in the high frequency, which is 36,000, uh, which is 10 ticks per second, right? And then you also think of, you know, and that's basically kind of the rule, right? There's how many ticks and how smooth you can get it. Um, but you think of something like, let's say spring drive, and now there's no ticks at all. It's a smooth sweeping hand, and it's basically regulated by a magnetic break within the watch. Uh, and that's kind of funny that they're called spring made because there is a little bit of a parallel there in terms of, hey, they're not trying to adjust the holes, which is the main thing on other adjustable straps, is adjust the length and get the holes to line up to where they fit you the best. Um, it's one of those things where instead, you know, there's not even any holes to be found, and you could really micro adjust this to, you know, again, to find the perfect fit, whether it be cinched down very tight, slightly loose, how, you know, maybe you stick your finger in and you want it to have that extra slack. So when you flex your wrist, again, the here it has infinite levels of setting. So for those of us, you know, who are so concerned, and I know there's a lot of you out there because I see the comments in the comment section, micro adjustable, toolless micro adjust, you know, everybody wants that on their bracelets, but people aren't really you know, calling for that too much on their straps, but you can really dial in a very 
beautiful and perfect again set up uh, for your wrist here with these straps and i think that that's something that's really cool and does go underappreciated again very nice strong traditional tubular style it definitely has that functional look you could easily see this on any type of outdoorsy type of watch um, and it would look fantastic uh, you know paired with this color and of course this type of nylon weave and then you get to something a little bit dressier guys uh, maybe you have a nice porcelain dial watch or something like that um, enamel or just you know a nice sunburst blue now you're gonna have something that can kind of play with that sheen with that light in a similar way as those dials play by of course having this type of uh you know weave here it's nice and tight very supple has a beautiful sheen to it and then again gives you more of a dressy look or of course classic you know really plays off vintage vibes very well or any type of texture because again now you have that ribbed texture weave pattern as well and then of course carrying over really beautifully done hardware so with that said let's actually uh demo getting this piece on and just so you guys know this is kind of how i approach it right so first i'll kind of fold the strap in half and try to basically align it with uh, that side. So essentially I'll align that, once I have this folded in half, I'll go ahead and try to get that setting here on the spring bar and then set it there. This watch actually is made for a bracelet with a very tight fit. So this isn't one where there's a lot of room in between the spring bar and the case. So you're not sliding it in, you're really just going to, you know, kind of uh, have to lay the strap down and then insert the spring bars behind it to hold it in place. So in case you're wondering why I'm not just adjusting it that way, this is kind of where I like to set it. Um, and it works for me. And again, you can either have it longer on this end so that it will better tuck all of the hardware completely flat underneath your wrist or you can have the case higher up to where that'll be all on the side of your wrist which would be a little bit more uh, to a traditional nato style uh, this is kind of somewhere in between uh, by having of course a little bit more length on this end um, so it's just a little bit more traditional let's say for a two a two-piece strap setup it would look more similar to this but with that said, if I was to get this on my wrist, essentially I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna feed that through that open hole there, tighten it up to wherever I want it to be. And you can see even uh, without retucking it down, there's quite a bit of friction there that's enough to hold it in place. So you're not worried about the watch falling off of your wrist. Even a 500 meter dive watch uh, isn't falling. So what you do is you can see there's this little design here with that little tab that protrudes. You take that, you lift it up, and now it's gonna essentially cinch down the backside and what you'll do is you will feed this in. And I will tell you, yeah, it's not easier than a traditional strap by any means, but it is one of those things. If you can make the little investment in time when you're first putting it on, then you will be able to enjoy, of course, the uh, more precise fit while it is on your wrist. So I have a larger wrist at about seven and a half inches. So you can see there's still a little bit of tongue sticking out there, uh, but I do like to have, let's say a little finger worth so that when I do flex my wrist, uh, there is some flex and it's not squeezing my wrist. Instead, it's just squeezing some of the slack out. So we'll go ahead and kind of get these off screen here, leave that there. And then what I will do is just tighten up the shot here so you can get a nice look at some of the details on how this might sit on your wrist, um, you know, uh, without getting all the lens distortion as if I was just to bring my wrist up to the camera. But you can see, very, very handsome. Uh, and you can see, of course, you have that textured dial, which this plays off of really well 
from that perspective because you do have some play and some texture within the ribbing in the nylon. And then you can see I do have it set basically right about at the middle of my wrist. So you're gonna have some tucked underneath the center of your wrist and then some off to the end. So for me, that ends up kind of being my preferred fit. But you can of course wear this a, a numerous amount of ways, but that's kind of the basics to it, right? So we'll go ahead, zoom this back out and really now take a look at how easy or hard it is to take it off your wrist but let's see how it sits up here of course again now the watch looks huge you're seeing less of the strap uh you know when it's up against the lens like that but you can see here it lays nicely it's not going anywhere again this is a 500 meter diver pretty thick pretty robust here and uh, it's just a beautiful watch um, and it's nice to see it's secured to my wrist in a way uh, that is going to fit really, really well, you know, down to my exact specification, essentially wherever I set it. And then also having the great hardware again that just gives you a more premium vibe. And this was, yeah, at a micro band level, a very, you know, kind of their premium halo type of timepiece. So it is nice to see that again, kind of paired. Uh, so essentially what I would do is first, I would scoot this floating keeper down so I can have a little bit of room to pull this and then essentially just feed that through. As that's through, now I'll just have it release. And you can see it's not falling off my wrist or anything like that. Uh, it can be a bit finicky, of course, when you're first trying it. Um, everybody's different. You know, I probably wouldn't do this standing up in the middle of a room. I'd probably do it over a desktop or a tabletop uh, first couple of tries until you can kind of eye where you want everything set. But I think this is a really cool uh you know strap I, I do enjoy it very much i think the look is very different and i think that goes for it uh, because especially for us you know collectors who have a bunch of different types of watches um we're gonna have stuff that looks a little different and not everything is gonna be a clean classic vintage-esque design some of it will be quite modern and you know quite thoughtful uh so it's nice to kind of have these modern thoughtful touches uh, that pair really nicely, uh, you know, by comparison, which I think is really nice. I do enjoy this beautiful weave here, and then of course the nice finishing. And then just getting back, you can see a few different patterns here, which are all gonna be very different, but also look very cool. Um, you get the sliding keeper, you get the little uh, protrusion, little thumb uh, area there, so you can really cinch this down. So very cool design that's definitely backed by very solid engineering, which I can absolutely appreciate. So closing thoughts, very impressed with these latest iterations. Uh, the design was always really class leading for Spring Made, uh, so it was nice to see them do something that, uh, again, just refined a really cool idea in the first place. So with that said, definitely check them out. If you like the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys.